welcome to Rovers FC TV. I'm Jake Burford and today I have got Carly, Chloe and Kayla Uddenberg. How are we doing? Good. 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 Yeah. Welcome to the show. So basically we're just going to have a little bit of a chat, talk about football, you know, talking about your general likes, dislikes and so forth. So, Carly, Kayla, your first season with the Rovers. How have yeah. you both settled in? Oh, it's been great. Um, again, last season, we were there just watching Chloe um, for her first season. So now to get to be a part of it, train all together, which is a plus. Um, but it's been great, the environment of the coaches, the girls. Um, it's early on in the season, but just being able to train, I can already see the difference um, in my play as a soccer player. So I'm grateful to be here this season so amazing yeah, yeah. Kayla? it's honestly been a great experience so far like coming in i was a bit nervous because obviously it's a, i'm a bit younger but all the girls have been so welcoming the coaches and everyone's so welcoming and it's it's been good yeah excellent and then chloe second season back with the rovers uh how's that been yeah i mean it's been so nice just to be back with the girls we started off our first season um sorry ended it very well and i just think to be back with the group was so nice to step foot into training again and just have everyone back and then a couple new additions has been really good and a new coaching staff it's just it's been a great experience so far and we just have a good group and we just got to keep going for the rest of the season so brilliant yeah that's great so triple threat Sisters yeah. playing on the same team. How's that? How does that? How does that go? You know, are you all bossy on the field, or how does it happen when you step onto the turf? I think it's a bit different for me. When I step on it, they kind of are more like my teammates. Like I try and separate them being my sisters, because at the end of the day, we're there to play soccer. So I more see them as my teammates when we get to practice or games. Um, but it obviously is nice just being able to be around my sisters and play the game that like we love to play and have grown up to play. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think it makes it easier even for our parents. They yeah. just have to go to one field yeah. now and watch That's us play. It. So it makes yeah. it a bit easier, but yeah. yeah. Um, it's great. I mean, we're always there supporting each other regardless of who's playing. So now, like, to be all at the same place at the same time is great. Being the oldest, I'm obviously a little protective. So, like, on the field, I can kind of have an extra eye out for yeah. <laughs> the girls on the field. But just being together, I mean, we all grew up playing for our different teams so now to finally be at the age where we can actually play all together I think is something that most people don't get to do so yeah. it's nice. Yeah no it's definitely it. nice to have my two other sisters on the yeah. field with me. It's a bit scary but you know it's nice to know that they're there and even though when we step on the field like we're players but like it's you know that they're there for you so it's yeah, nice. Yeah it's a tight bond as well mm -hmm. though right with yeah. sisters right so I can only imagine when you're on the on the field you know the cohesion between yeah, the three yeah. is very very tight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah. that's great. So with that what are the goals for the season for like for the team what would you say uh, you would want to achieve i think like plain and simple is like we want to win a championship whether it's winning the league or um just winning like the final game i think that's a clear goal that we've set but we haven't just set that goal and then expect it to happen like we kind of have a plan of action and have put time and energy into making sure okay how are we going to do that so I think plain and simple is just we want to win we want to have a good season make it far into playoffs do better that we did than uh, that than what we did last year mm -hmm. so yeah. yeah and even like just from being at like training and like behind the scenes like as training and the girls like doing their own stuff like by themselves I think that's also like a goal that everyone kind of has their individual goals but like we have that overall goal of what we want so like I've noticed just being in that training environment like a lot of the girls like on our own time like we're keeping ourselves accountable of like what we need to do mm -hmm. to get to that end goal yeah. so I think just the environment that the girls are setting like we have goals that we want to achieve behind the scenes so that we can get that overall end goal yeah yeah and then so you you did point on it kind of thing but you do have your individual goals yeah. and stuff like that so with that what have you set yourself like all three of you for this season like yeah. individually you yeah. know because you're a defender right mm -hmm. so yeah myself i'm a goalkeeper <laughs> like you know the, yeah. one of the individual things that i wanted was clean sheets yeah so what are the individual goals that you're looking yeah, for yeah i think like that like the clean sheet obviously as being um a defender but i think even just like Commute, like the simple things of like communication like especially being like when I play center back like you're the eyes for everyone mm -hmm. on the field you see the whole thing so I think for me like individually like as like a team how we communicate how we play but like as me like like slide tackles yeah, like can I get yeah. one in every game can I stop in. a play but I think just like um just like being aware like especially for me like playing at the back I started off as striker so I okay. used to at my college team 
so defense is kind of new to me. Like it's kind of, um, I'm just starting off. But yeah, I would definitely say, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd say, <laughs> yeah. For me, um, it's definitely being more of a leader on the field. So upping my communication, um, taking feedback quickly from teammates to be able to like help them on the field. So that's definitely one of those goals. But um, for myself, like as a player, it's more getting more comfortable on the ball. Like I would say, I'm more of a player that's like gets it, get a pass, quickly give it out. But I think like my next step is me getting more comfortable just being on the ball, my own touch, getting out of tight spaces. So that's a goal for me. And I like been putting that work in away from the team and then I try and apply it in practice. So that's just two individual goals, two small yeah. ones, but I try and stay focused on like those two instead of setting like five goals. So. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, no, I feel like my goal is definitely to be more aggressive because I am going against older girls, you know, the ones that are coming back from university and everything like that. So I kind of need to, I don't know, like fight more. Yep. And then ex especially to like um, being faster on the ball. Like League One's very it's a fast paced game. So I feel like I just need to work on like those two things. And that's definitely my goal for the yeah, year. Yeah, <laughs> that's ace. So we'll talk a little bit about, we've got a new coach who's come in to the, to the Rovers for the ladies. Uh, we've got Dave Kelly come in. How have you found that so far? So we've played two games under him. How do you see his philosophy shaping on the, shaping on the team? Um, I think like it's been great to have, like the new coaching staff last year's coaching staff did an amazing job too but he came in he really set our culture first which is I think been a huge plus for our team is he didn't come in and try and change everybody or change our style of play because we did keep most of the players from last year so he came in just wanted to make sure we had a good culture um, and then we had like a couple meetings just on culture before we even got into tactics or how we want to play and he didn't come in and say this is how we're playing it was more of like a collaborative approach of like what we did last year and how we could make it better so and I honestly I like respect that as a as him coming in as a coach because mm -hmm. we did have a talented group there was nothing too wrong with our group and we just he came in with experience and um, has allowed him his experience though like he's helped us if we had said something and it wasn't a bit right like he didn't think like he'd tell us and then yeah. so I I personally like how he stepped in so yeah, I agree. Um, like even just with our like training sessions, like everything is not like up to us, but it's always open. Like, does anyone have anything to say? Like, he always brings it to the group first, so I think it's important because we're the ones like on the field. So he allows us to express any questions we have, concerns or stuff. It's always like an open ground of what we're gonna do, and then he'll elaborate on it. Mm -hmm. Um, and then just like in regards to the game, like he's very positive. Like when we come off the field anywhere, like we're close to the side, like it's always positive reinforcements, what yeah. we're gonna do, what we're gonna need. Um, so again, this is my um, first season, so I didn't have um, last season, but just being here, he's been great. Yeah. And I'm excited to learn. <laughs> yeah, and see how the season develops, yes, right? Yes, yes, So talking about that, we spoke about Dave Kelly, we've played two seasons. Yeah. We've got a big game coming up this weekend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we are playing Vaughn <laughs> yes. at the weekend. So how do we feel about that coming into this to this big game? I think we're like really prepared. We've gone over like our how we're gonna play, um, defensively, offensively, and again, like I think our coaching staff really does a good job preparing us with videos, practicing it, everything. So I think we've also learned a lot from our last game against NDC. Um, there's a lot to learn from that game and I think we quickly our next practice we adjusted and worked on those things so I think we're well prepared and we're going in strong like for that win so it'll be a good game yeah yeah, yeah. Brilliant. and everyone prepares like even going back to like the last game like we are a very good like technical group and I think it's also like important to recognize like the mindset of it so like even just like like as Chloe said like as soon as um, they played NDC the next practice everyone was in the mindset of okay what do we need to do what do we need to change how we're gonna win our next game so yeah, yeah excited That's brilliant. <laughs> so talking about big game what is your favorite tune your your pump up tune to listen to before a big game <laughs> Okay, yeah. what you, what's your, what's your <laughs> favorite song to pump you oh up? God, what's think. on the playlist? I gotta think. I, I feel like I don't have like one certain song. I feel like we, we listen to a lot of soca music because obviously yeah, when we dad. played with like <laughs> St. Kids and stuff, that's mm -hmm. the music we listen to. So I don't know. I feel like I listen to more that type of music. Yeah. I say same as her and like Pitbull. Like those are Pitbull. my two. Yeah. Like yeah. 
kind yeah. of, I'm not a big like music person, but if I do need it, it's like Pitbull, soca music, just kind of like get myself ready and calm. Yeah, that was at Seneca. Um, we kind of, that was our tradition. One of the girls made a Pitbull playlist and we listened to that. But like, even for me before, like I tend to like need to focus and talk to myself. So I like right before, like I get like hyped like the day before and stuff like that with that. But in the mornings, I'm like, okay, I got to focus because I get nervous. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so what about, do you have a favorite food that you like to eat prior to a game, you know, is uh, anything, have you got any superstitions that you have like prior mm. to a game? Mm. I know for me, I always like chocolate milk. Chocolate I don't know what it was, you know what I mean? I love having like, uh, I like a drink of chocolate yeah. milk, you know? No, you know, now, I, I didn't used to do this when I was younger, but now I always have a go-go squeeze. Kind They're like little, like, oh, the little apples. Apple it's like little apples. It's like little, like, <laughs> <laughs> just because I get, I get hungry very easily. So like I'll have my meal or whatever before, but like, Recently, like in the past year or two, even my college games, I pack a Google squeeze with me to eat before the game because <laughs> it's light enough, but it's yeah. something to it's eat. Perfect. Just like yeah, being back in preschool, then, right? <laughs> yeah, little you know, juice box, and then you've got your apple. <laughs> yeah, everyone makes fun of me, but yeah, I have to say that actually. Yeah, mine. I don't have any like big superstitions, but I think like. I try and just let myself do whatever instead of being so like, okay, I need to do this, this, that kind of. But I like retie my shoes so many times because it's got to be perfectly tied yeah. for that starting whistle. So like sometimes I retie it three times, sometimes five times, like until it's perfect. But that's just me. <laughs> no, for me, I always have a banana before my games because I, I get yeah. a lot of calf cramps and stuff like that. So yeah. it's always good to have that little extra magnesium. So I always have a banana before my games. Yeah. No little That's squeeze funny. box. No, or, I, yeah. I don't get the squeeze one. No. <laughs> <laughs> Only me. Oh, that's amazing. And then we'll just talk a little bit personally. Yeah. Do you have like a favorite movie, a favorite TV show that you, you like to watch when you're relaxing, you're not yeah. training, you're just at yeah. home? Is there anything? What, or what do you like to do to wind down, you know, to, in yeah. your free time? Um, me, well, I love movies and TV shows, but I like Fast and Furious and I like The Blind Side. And the reason why, like, I find, like, anything sentimental, like, like in regard to sports, like it gives me like the chills. Like it's very weird <laughs> oh, to yeah, like yeah, say that, that, but like in intense movies where it's like game time and like stuff is happening, like it's kind of like a personal relationship. So the blind side, I love that movie. Yeah. That's my favorite, yeah. You went to um, I don't I love a lot of like action pack movies, so you know, Jumanji's a pretty good movie. And I like The Rock and Kevin oh, Hart. So <laughs> the new Jumanji, not the old, like the yeah, original. And then, yeah, oh, yeah, I okay. love Kevin Hart and The Rock, so I like to watch stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> And Chloe? For me, I don't like it's very rare for someone to not like TV shows or movies, so I don't watch any, so I don't really have a favorite. But to wind down, like I find I jam pack my schedule, so to wind down, I just like spending time with like my family or going on my phone, so I'm not a big movie or TV show person. But, yeah. yeah. It's crazy that she admits that, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> All righty, so we're going to take a short break. We will back in a few minutes. Welcome back to Rovers FC TV. I'm here with Carly, Chloe, and Kayla. So, so what we're going to talk about just, um, just briefly, and I think it's amazing, and not a lot of people get to to represent a national team. Mm -hmm. So, a little birdie's told me that you all <laughs> have senior caps for St. Kitts. Yes. Is that true? Yes. Mm. yes. Yeah. So, talk me through that. Like how. How does that feel that you, you've played international football at the highest stage, you know? Talk me through that. I can, uh, I'll go That's, first. Yeah, <laughs> jump in, go, uh, jump in. I just, like, for, for me, like, playing, like, at the international level, you play against so many top players, like, um, when we played against, like, Canada, Mexico, Jamaica, like, there's just so many talented players, and you just step on the field and, like, you're like, wow, like I'm really playing against them and it kind of like ups your level of play and whatnot because you grew up watching those people on the TV and then to be able to now play against them, like it's for sure an experience, every experience that I get playing for the national team, like I really like cherish. And again, like when my sisters are there, it's even a bigger moment mm -hmm. for me because I'm like, we're at the highest level playing together on the same team. Like mm -hmm. what more can you kind of ask for? So 
Yeah. yeah, even just so our grandparents, my dad's parents were born there, so even just getting to play in their home country where yeah. they were from, every time we go back, my grandma will come with us. So it's kind of like good memories um, yeah. to have. But same thing about Chloe again, like you grow up watching professionals play and to be a part of like that in that environment, like especially went to the uh, Olympic qualifiers in Texas, just like being in that environment was like it's crazy. crazy. Yeah. Like there's like cameras, there's like a red carpet, like just like in that sense, like it's, cause you watch those players and then when we were on the field and we played against Canada to see like Christine St. Clair on the field right there in front of you, it's crazy, so it's I was, unreal. I was gonna say, it's probably quite emotional then, right? Yeah. Just like being on that stage and representing the national country, yeah. you know what I mean? That's that's such a, a cool experience, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah. So what what has been your favorite experience so far in football? Overall? Overall, general? like your favorite experience, your favorite memory so far? Um, I mean, you've got a long career ahead. There's, yes. there's probably gonna be a lot more, but <laughs> yeah. so far, what's your favorite um, thing? Well, so for me, I'll, I'm gonna pick out two, just um, in regards to the national team. Um, we went there my first time we went um, to play some games but I was there for two weeks mm -hmm. and just getting to know the girls like on a personal level on the team again we were completely like new to each other like I'm from a different country but yeah. everyone's just so welcoming and like we still talk to the girls like now daily on the team and I think just being in that environment of like meeting people from a completely different country but coming together for the mm -hmm. game of soccer I think is like unreal um, and then my other thing is, so I play on Seneca College team and yeah. just the environment there, the girls there, it's half the reason why I love the game so much today. It's helped me through a lot. Um, so just my team there at Seneca, they have a special place in my heart. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, what about you? <laughs> um, for me, my most, probably when we got, like for the national level, like when we got to play against Canada, it was pretty special for me and something that I'll always remember in my career. And even when I get older, like it's just like, it's a cool story to even tell. Like I was on the field with like some of these players that I grew up watching as a kid, and like some people that like I idolized. Like I watch Christine Sinclair all the time, and it was just like honestly amazing experience. Yeah. So. An idol for, for ladies football yes. in Canada, right? So yeah. yeah, it must be. And call it yourself. Yeah, same thing. Uh, when we went and played in Texas, like that whole experience there for the two weeks was amazing. And I think even though it kind of sucked to be on the opposite end of it, that was the game when we played Canada. That was when Christine St. Clair scored her 185th um, goal to beat the record. And so it was against us, but like to be able to be there and then be in that moment it was just it was very like weird in a way yeah. but I cherish that moment because that was like a moment in history and I was on the field even though it was yeah. against me but yeah. that's for sure a big moment yeah yeah well, that's brilliant so we've talked about that let's talk about you three so sisters girl power yeah right? <laughs> so out of the three of who's the most competitive Probably it'll have to be. Yeah, Chloe. Yeah. We go with Chloe. In every aspect. Like every, yeah. every like soccer, aspect. Even just like at home, anything, she's the most competitive. Yeah, you yeah, win. She always it's, I have, yeah. she has the last it, word. Yeah, it, it doesn't even have to be out soccer. Like she'll be like, let's go wrestle. Like I'll beat yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. I'm like what? Like, she just needs to have the last word for everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely her. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. And then, okay, who's the laziest player? Mm. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> In Are regards we? to training, I think it's yeah. her. Yeah. <laughs> That's like she knows it herself. Yeah, she knows, she knows, she knows it. it. But when she she works when she she like, has no, to yeah. work. Yeah. Yeah. But, but if if somebody is the most laziest, it's probably it's you. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. she's like she's what you call like she's not a practice player. But as soon as you get in a game, like she's game like, time well, where did that come from? That but yeah. I was like that. Yeah. yeah. That That's me, exactly. you know, so. <laughs> My dad would agree too. Yeah. Yeah. That's brilliant. So and who's the most passionate? I would say her. I think about okay. soccer, maybe me, mm -hmm. but I think like they're all passionate in their own ways. But I've just yeah. like, I think soccer for sure, mm -hmm. I don't know. I'd yeah. say me, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, you take it. You take it. <laughs> all yeah, right, so another question for you. So I like to do these little quick fire uh, rounds just to find a little bit about you guys and yeah. stuff. So, dog or cat? Dog. Dog? dog? I love, I love dog. There we go. We have a small little multi poo. Yeah. 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 Five She's pounds. also a girl. <laughs> yeah. And another, another so, girl yeah. in the family. So. Another girls. Yeah. Um, yeah. So my mom said when we were going to get the dog, it had to be small enough to carry around for all of our soccer games because we're always in the car going somewhere. So she's a nice little five pound dog that we just, my Put mom and my dad, yeah. hide in a jacket or a, 
a little purse and off we go. Yeah. That's it, yeah. yeah. Your mum's going to be getting scanned every time she goes into the door now. It's, it's all over. We need dog scanners now. <laughs> all righty, so we'll do a couple of quick fire questions here. Okay, so 90th minute in a game. <laughs> Who's going to take the penalty? Ooh. <laughs> I'd not see Chloe. Not, <laughs> not, Chloe. not Chloe. Carly. Carly. No. Definitely not you. Not Chloe. No. Yeah. Not Daddy, Carly. Yeah. I think Carly. Dad I'm took her to the training field the other day and they did <laughs> penalty kicks and he's like, she's never taking one. Yeah. yeah. Don't make her take one. Yeah. Um, why, take is, why is that then, Chloe? I don't know. I, I practice, but it just never works out for me. So yeah. I'd give it to Carly. Yeah. yeah probably Carly. Carly. Yeah. All right. Perfect. So I'll pick these at random. Here we go. All right. So, who is the most vocal on the pitch? That's a hard one. I, I would I say it's between you two because I feel like it's Neil talks a lot. Yeah. And you talk a lot. So I think it's too. even. Yeah, yeah like I would say it's even between yeah. them. Yeah. 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 I'd say she can stay consistent through the 90 minutes. Like, she's always talking. Mm -hmm. Whereas maybe for me, like, 70th minute, sometimes I kind of die down. That's <laughs> why I, like, set as my goal to keep talking. Mm -hmm. So. Carly. I'll take that. Yeah, yeah there you yeah. go. Oh my God. <laughs> that pocket that yeah. right there, right? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about favourite takeout? You know, it's a, it's a Saturday night, relaxing. Well, we all What would you like to, to have on a, on a Saturday night? We get a lot of Chinese food, I feel like. We all yeah. kind of like Chinese food. We also have to say takeout, but our mom makes homemade hamburgers, so I'm going to throw yeah, that in there so oh, she doesn't get mad yeah. at us. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Too. Yeah, brilliant. And then what about like favorite type of cuisine? Do you have a favorite type of cuisine that you, you enjoy? Well, for me personally, I like Italian food. We're not Italian, um, but I, I grew up with a lot of are. Italian <laughs> friends. So I would have to say Italian. I love Italian food. I like when I go to like the Caribbean, like the food there. I just like it. Basic chicken, rice and stuff like that's my thing I like. Yeah, I kind of feel like both of their, like I, I like Italian food too, and especially when we go back to St. Kitts, like their food is really good and it's like homemade and everything, so. Yeah, mm -hmm. perfect. So when you go for the next national game, I get to come for yeah. the food. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Happy no days, I'll take, that. I'll take that. All right, who is the best dressed player off the pitch for the team? Oh, for the team. So the team. We can do you three or we can do no, the team. Okay, that's a. I don't know. Maybe uh, Jessica Shears or Samaya. They both know how to dress. <laughs> I'd say yeah. Jessica. Yeah. I haven't yeah, seen yeah. them too often outside of their clothes. So yeah, know. Jess. <laughs> yeah, what about us three? Out of us three? I don't know. <laughs> Pretty even, I'd <laughs> say. Yeah, kind of plain. <laughs> Yeah, We're in maybe. athletic gear too much, like all yeah. the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love it. That's yeah. my favorite, right? Yeah. So, all right. So, if you could play another sport, what sport would it be? You can't play football, okay? Mm. Or Fine soccer, me. as you call it, right? So, you can't play football. What sport would you want to play? I do field hockey. Field hockey. I did it in high school, yeah. and I really enjoyed it. If I could play it at the university level, or like try out at least, I'd do it. I feel like volleyball. I did it in like high school as well. That's I cool. like it. Yeah, I enjoy volleyball. I'm gonna say basketball. Yeah. I used to be the point guard in elementary school, so maybe oh, I could bring okay. it back a bit. <laughs> Perfect. So talking about that, is it football or is it soccer? Mm. Well, I say soccer, I but yeah. I like soccer. football too. Like I like like when people talk and refer to it as football. Like when but we I go to soccer. St. Kitts, they say football. football. Yeah. They don't say yeah. soccer. Yeah. So. We say soccer. We say soccer. <laughs> <You> say soccer. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Do you have a favorite superhero? Do you have a favorite superhero growing up? Did you ever watch that kind of stuff? Or? I don't think so. I didn't mm. watch, like, I don't think we all, like, didn't watch. But, like, if I'm being completely honest, I think, like, my superhero is my mom. Like, it just, like, everything, <laughs> just I look up to her in that way. Like, whenever people say superhero, that's yeah. what I think of. So, yeah. That's, that's, a, that's that. a brownie that's point that. right there. Your mom's going to be watching you like, Chloe, you're my favorite. Yeah. Oh, that is too funny. <laughs> and so we've, we've spoke about your know, favorite movies and stuff. Yeah. Did you have a favorite TV show growing up? Is there anything that you would always want to watch when you were a kid? I'm trying to think. When we were younger, it was all Disney Channel. Yeah. I loved all those yeah, shows. Now you could ask me what's on TV, and I have no clue no what all clue. those shows yeah. are. Yeah, I have to 
say anything on Disney. Yeah, we watch a lot of Disney shows. Like me, I remember me and Carly would always sit upstairs and watch. Yeah, we get in trouble a lot. Disney shows sitting in front of the TV. Yeah. (laughs) That's amazing. All right, and my last question. Okay, if you could be an animal, what animal would you be? Oh goodness. (laughs) <laughs> hey, we're finishing on a tough one, yeah. That's like what one. would you be? I don't want to be a cheetah. They're fast. Yeah. Get the speed. That's <laughs> it. Going down, going down the wing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sure, I'd be a giraffe. Like a it's giraffe. just a total different view of the world. So I'd say That's that. That's my favorite yeah. animal. <laughs> okay. Really? Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm gonna say an elephant, just because they're very beautiful animals. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say elephant. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> well, ladies, it's been an absolute pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you for joining us and taking the time to, to come to the show. Okay. So that is all for Rovers FC TV today. Uh, if you need any more information, you can have a look at roversfc.ca where you can find information about tickets, the standings, the next games and so forth. I'm Jake Burford. Have a great evening.